Oh, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome everyone to Shortfield. This time I challenged Jared to a race around the pattern where we try to see who can get around the quickest. It was a close run thing, but stay tuned to see who came out on top. Also, I end up breaking the aircraft and have to do some running repairs in the field. So settle back and join me in the cockpit for a fully packed episode of Shortfield. So we just had some uh, maintenance work done on the plane. Actually, it was uh, we had the spats fixed. We had a real problem getting hold of a spat bracket after it broke in the summer. But anyway, we got one and it's finally fixed. We can put the spats back on. I think a lot of the problem was with the uh, with the bracket breaking was mainly down to the really hard ground we've had. So rough, hard ground, broke a couple of screws um, and then ended up breaking the bracket. So, yep, we've got our spats back on, which I, I much prefer the look of the aeroplane with them on. Don't like it with them off. Especially when there, at one point there was just like two on and that wasn't even the main gear. That was like one on the nose and one on the main leg when I brought it back uh, after it broke. So, yeah, so we're now... Uh, uh, it's just a little afternoon, little bimble. Uh, it's a really nice late afternoon. Um, the clocks go back this evening, so it's going to get dark early, which is a, not very good. So I thought this might be a good time to introduce uh, a little video that I did. Uh, I don't know if you find it interesting or not, but I had this idea that we could do some some. Uh, circuit racing or pattern racing so the idea would be that uh, we will take off from uh, from a, a grass strip in actual fact we used uh, Nut Hamster to do this because it's very quiet there and the idea was to keep it safe you had to fly a circuit but you had to fly to a thousand feet you could start the circuit when you wanted so you could immediately turn sort of left it's a left hand circuit there so you could sort of like, you climb, do the circuit and then come back and land. Now that sounds quite straightforward, but you, you, could, you could say, well, you could just really just low, stay low and do it. But we didn't because that would have been dangerous and it would have upset the neighbours. So what we did was we decided to do it so that you were... Uh, sorry, I thought I was going to just get into that airspace there. Yeah, so what we did was, we did it so that you had to climb to a thousand feet, which is the circuit. Well, it's not actually. It's a thousand feet above sea level, so the circuit height there is. So that'll put you about 800 feet above the uh, ground. You weren't allowed to fly over anything, and I'll do a little uh, graphic to show this. So you take off, turn left, it was on runway um, 23, uh, not Hampstead, the westerly runway. So you climb, climb up to a thousand feet and then you have to descend and come back down again. I did this with Jared. I'm not sure he was really that into it, but uh, but you'll see what happened and uh, hopefully you find it quite interesting. So uh, here we go. So here we are at Nut Hampstead, my favourite strip, and I'm here with Jared. And I'll tell you what, what we're going to do, mate. How about, I've got an idea, how about we race around the circuit? You go up, do a circuit safely, got to hit a thousand feet, and uh, then I'll do the circuit and then see who gets around the fastest. How about that? All right. Okay, <laughs> you're on. Cool. So right. here we go. Jared's getting in and uh, taxiing out for his circuit. We decided to do just the one circuit um, each and we'll just see at the end who's the quickest. So as he taxis out, it's uh, having a good look, turning around at the end and off he goes. So we've decided that we'll start the clock as soon as the wheels are off the ground. So as Jared's powering up here, we get to about 50 uh, knots, then up he goes, clock started, and uh, he's up early to get across that rough bit of ground there. Uh, he's building up speed, and uh, he'll start his left turn shortly, 
uh, to start his crosswind leg. So it's a climbing turn, he's put the flaps away quite early which means his speed's pretty good at the moment. And uh, he's climbing up and around. Sport Cruiser was quite light today, we had, uh, I think it was a, about half full on the tanks, so it wasn't too bad. So he's already starting this, his left hand downwind leg, having a good look around and he will make his calls as well as he goes around the circuit even though there's no one here apart from me. Uh, always safe to do that. So I think he's just approaching a thousand feet here and he'll start reducing power as soon as he gets there. And here he goes. And that's it. So he's keeping away from uh, the no-fly area to the left. So he's hit 1,000 feet, starting his descent. And you can just see the airfield uh, over there. So start of the base leg. And can just about see the airspeed there. He's around 65, 70 knots as he comes down, keeping the nose down. And on a good base leg now. With such a tight circuit, you're inevitably going to end up doing a pretty much constant aspect approach. Um, and as he comes around, That's just the coming on to final now. He'll start bring the speed back. We normally touch down uh, around about 45 uh, knots. So coming in now and over the end of the runway. And as soon as he touches down, we'll stop the clock. So 2.27 for Jared. That's pretty good. Okay, so now it's my turn. We're powering up, and away we go. Rotor code, decent piece of code, okay. Right, airborne, let's start that clock. And uh, climbing away nicely, looking for an early left turn. I'll wait until the speed gets to uh, a safer amount to get the flaps away, and I'll do a banking left turn. Climbing away, just watching that speed all of the time. Must get up to a thousand feet. Seven. And looking for a thousand feet. Sport Cruiser will climb about a thousand feet a minute. Nine hundred. A thousand. Okay. Chop the power. Copy's coming now, brakes off and the carriage down, mixture's rich, fuel pumps on, fuel sufficient for go around. We're hatched, we're harnessed. Okay, so we're now going downhill and uh, keeping that airfield in sight as I bank around to the left. Base. Nothing on the approach. As I say, these are pretty much constant aspect approaches because it's just you haven't got, uh, you can't really square off the base uh, at all when you're so close in. So, around we go, watching the airspeed. And as we come around, Really making sure that speed's all right as we go around the corner. Winds from the right. Pretty much on to final now. And again, as we come across the field there, keeping everything nice and tight. Little left turn to go through between the trees. And touchdown. Two minutes. Six seconds for the circuit. Yes! That looks good. I can't see how long it's taken me, so it's just a case of going over to Jared and seeing what the time was. 
Yes, I won! Hey! Up. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, yes! Whoa, not so fast. Upon checking the the circuit on Sky Demon, guess what? I didn't hit a thousand feet. So I lost. So I tried, but I failed. Well done, mate. Thank you. Never mind. Another time. Yep. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Do you know what the worst of it all is? Last week I'd practiced about 10 circuits, keeping them really tight on the Anstead, and I still lost. Oh well, I may have lost, but we did have a fun afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. Fly safe and short field out.